very good morning learners so this is the first chapter of geography practical portion third book introduction to maps class 11th so here student we will discuss here about the map and here as you all know about the map that rather it is world map of india's map of uh, or india map you may be familiar with it because in ninth from the sixth standard you started is uh, studies as social science and here you uh, are now aware about it about the maps but here we will discuss all the main important points and you also know that shapes of the earth um, on the other hand is simplified depiction of whole uh, part of the earth on a piece of paper how globe are formed according to the uh, that are in the other words it is a two dimensional form of the three dimensional earth and the map can be drawn using a system of map projections so here students already uh, this map projection part is in we have a separate topic uh, in chapter 4 but uh, this year this chapter has been deleted so in short we'll discuss here in about this topic okay so students uh, if uh, a plan map of your schools is to be drawn in this its actual size suppose if i say uh, just draw a map of your school so it is not possible to make in a accurate you know length okay so here you have to uh, require something like maps are drawn at a scale without a scale it's not possible to draw but the actual distance you cannot show on the paper okay and projection so that each point on the paper correspondence to uh, points to the uh, actual ground position and the representation of different features like if you want to show the buildings if you want to show the gate okay road so here we have to use some symbols also right so symbols and different colors we can use and we uh, use some shades okay so a map is therefore defined as a selective symbolized and generalized representation of whole or a uh, here you can see there are some difficult word we can say glossary and here we'll discuss these words like cadastral map it is a large scale map drawn at the scale and here we always use a scale in the whenever we have to draw any map we always use scale it is very very important like scale of 1 ratio 500 to 1 ratio 4000 to show property boundaries designating each parcel of land with a number second is cardinal points what are the cardinal points students whenever we draw a map it is very important to show directions like north south east west okay and always you can see in the map north direction always shows on the map next is cartography cartography is an art science of technology of making maps how we draw map okay this is the technology of making maps like charts plans and other models graphical expression as well as the study and use then next is generalization map so here student in uh, a simplified representation of the features on the map uh, you know appropriate to its scale or purpose without affecting their visual form okay we don't have to affect in whenever we are drawing any map we don't have to affect on the visual form suppose if you uh, as i uh, give you example of your school if you have to make a map of your school so here you will not you know uh, you will not affect without affecting the visual form you will draw a map of your school area so this is a kind of generalization map the next is geoid an ablate spheroid whose shape resembles the actual shape of the earth here we are talking about the earth shape next is map so what is map a selective symbolized and generalized representation of the whole or part of the earth at a reduced scale okay suppose the length from uh, mumbai to kerala so there is a, a proper you know a accurate length but we can't show the accurate length on the paper 
it's not possible to show so here we have to use some scale next is map series so a group of maps produced at the same scale style specification for a country or a region this is called map series then next is projection map okay projection map the system of the transformation of the spherical surface onto the plane surface suppose you are making from the globe you have to take a part of earth you have to take a land portion and you have to draw it on the plane paper plane surface so this is called projection map next is scale so the ratio between the distance of two points on the map okay which i already said to you suppose from gujarat to kerala you have to show a uh, distance from that two point so this is called scale the scale we are using plan or photograph and the actual distance between the same two points on the ground right then next is sketch map sketch map students when we draw a raw uh, sketch raw rough map so this is called a sketch map like simplified map drawn free hand which fails fails to preserve the true scale or orientation when you are drawing any map freely without any measurement without using any scale so this is called a sketch map a simply sketch that is called a sketch map okay student so here student i uh, here will discuss essentials of map making some are the main uh, whenever we are making any map we have to use some rules and we have to follow some rules so here are some essential essentials of uh, map making so in view the variety of maps we may find it difficult to summarize what they all have in common cartography being an art and science of map making so uh, here it includes a series of process that are common to all the maps like uh, when you see uh, just once you just look uh, atlas one by one just uh, all the sheets when you uh, just observe it you can see the all the uh, maps have some similarities some Uh, you know the process you can see which are followed in all the maps okay so here we can see number 1 is a scale number 2 map projection and number 3 map generalization and number 4 is map design and number 5 is map construction and production okay so first of all we will talk about the scale so as i said to you students whenever we are making any map we really really need to use scale we know that all maps are reductions okay so actual map we are not when we have to draw map on the paper so we cannot use the actual distance on the paper suppose the distance from pithoragarh to almora like 100 um, 200 plus kilometer distance so when we are drawing the same map on the paper here we have to use um, scale in centimeter okay so here it will be easy to draw so the first decision that make map make mark, uh, maker has to take is about the scale of the map the choice of scale is of utmost importance so scale of map sets limits of information contained in the degree of reality uh, with which it can be delineated on the map for example here it has shown on the figure number 1.3 i'll show you here how the scale has used here so here you can see the map of delhi in different way okay and here you can see the scale has been used here in all the maps right you can see here the portion of delhi so meters kilometers used here map scale has been used here see you can see this so in these all four maps you can see it has been used here a map mm, scale next is projection so we also know that maps are a simplified representation of the three dimensional surface on the of the earth on a plain sheet of a paper so here what we are doing we are transform the that portion into a plain sheet 
so all side curved geoidal surface into a plane surface is another important aspect of the cartographic process so we should not uh, know that such a radical transformation introduced some unavoidable changes in directions okay directions distance areas and shapes so from the way they appear on a geoid so a system of transformation of the spherical surface to a plane surface is called map projection okay when you can when you see the map on the globe it looks different but when we used to uh, draw map on the paper so this what we are doing we transform that portion we transform that shape into uh, to the plane sheet okay so this is projection it is called projection right okay so next is generalization so in generalization is student every map is drawn with a definite objective for example a general purpose map is drawn to the uh, to show information of a general nature such as uh, different uh, features we have like relief different uh, relief features we have like drainage vegetation settlements means of transportation so these all things we need to show on the map also okay the so, suppose when you are making different types of vegetation different vegetation of india so that time we are using a different symbol okay sometimes we are showing drainage system so here this maps the way of making map is same but here we are using such uh, different uh, so this is called a generalization okay different types of topics we are using to draw map clear student so as maps are drawn at a reduced scale to serve a definite purpose we have a topic okay so this is called generalization next is map design so the fourth one is important task of cartographer jab cartographer jab map draw karte hain design karte hain it is very important ki wo map ka design kis way pe bana rahe so involves the planning of graphic characteristics of map including the selection of appropriate symbol ओके सो किस तरीके के सिंबल का यूज किया जा रहा है सो देयर साइज एंड फॉर्म स्टाइल ऑफ लेटरिंग स्पेसिफाइंग द वेथ ऑफ लाइन सिलेक्शन ऑफ कलर्स शेड्स अरेंजमेंट ऑफ वेरियस एलिमेंट्स ऑफ मैप डिजाइन विद इन अ मैप एंड डिजाइन ऑफ मैप लिजेंट ओके सो हियर यू कैन सी वट आर द सिम्बल्स स्पेशली दे यूजिंग ऑन द मैप सपोज पॉपुलेशन में क्या कौन से सिम्बल का यूज किया जा रहा है हाई पॉपुलेशन में कौन से सिम्बल का यूज किया जा रहा है ओके सो These are also very important कि किस तरीके से मैप को डिज़ाइन किया जा रहा है किस तरीके के सिम्बल को किस तरीके का साइज किस तरीके के स्टाइल और फ्लैटरिंग का यूज़ किया जा रहा है नेक्स्ट इज मैप कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड प्रोडक्शन सो हेयर स्टूडेंट द ड्राॅइंग ऑफ मैप्स एंड देर वेरी प्रोडक्शन इज द फिफ्थ मेजर टास्क इन द कार्टोग्राफिक प्रोसेस इन अर्लियर टाइम क्या होता था कि मच ऑफ द मैप कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड रिप्रोडक्शन वर्क यूज टू बी कैरिड आउट मैनुअली हाथों से ही वो काम किया जाता था मैनुअली किया जाता था maps were drawn with a pen and ink and printed machine mechanically however the map construction and reproduction has been revolutionized and with the addition of computer so we are using nowadays we are drawing all the maps in computer so it is a kind we can say we are using these tech to this technology hum bahut टाइम को भी क्या कर रहे हैं सेव करते हैं और बहुत इजीली जो है हम उस मैप को क्या कर लेते हैं ड्रॉ कर लेते हैं सपोज यू कैन सी गूगल मैप में आप सर्च जब करते हैं तो आपको बहुत इजीली वो लोग प्लेसेस आप फाइंड आउट कर लेते हैं ठीक है बट इट वाज हैपनिंग नॉट हैपनिंग इन द अर्लियर टाइम सो नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज हिस्ट्री ऑफ मैप मेकिंग ओके सो हेयर विल डिस्कस अबाउट द हिस्ट्री कि इन अर्लियर टाइम किस तरीके से जो है मैप को बनाया गया था बहुत सारे जोग्राफर्स थे उन्होंने किस तरीके से मैप को ड्रॉ किया था सो विल डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो स्टूडेंट टिल देन थैंक यू सो मच